Hello, my name is Evie Cuervo with Degero. The cloud is playing an increasingly pivotal role in the modern world. Companies migrating to remote infrastructures are looking for flexibility and security. For those in the broadcast sector, cloud management is playing an important role, especially when working in remote locations. Enter Degero Control. It's a cloud-based management system that gives organizations the power and flexibility to manage centrally their Dejira equipment from a web browser. To chat more, I am joined by Daniel Skoog, Product Manager at Dejira. Welcome. Hello. Daniel, a lot of companies are counting on the cloud for a number of different projects to improve their workflows. Tell me a bit more about the value of Dejira Control. Absolutely. If we start with the idea of it being in the cloud, I think it's it's really about having instant access to all of your devices. So we have all your video transport as well as network aggregation devices basically shown to you from anywhere in the world. So this is really, it's, it's essential for any type of decentralized workflow. And, and from wherever you are, you have this always on access where you can organize your live streams, you can run reports, you can even remote control your devices. But I think if, if I talk about the value of control, um, personally where I think it, you know, it really shines is in what it can do for you, kind of what it can do to either streamline or simplify or automate some of your daily tasks. So by doing something like adding a notification for, for your data usage, if you're getting close to your data usage limits, or when your devices start or stop streaming, or even when you have a software update available. By adding these email notifications, you're basically automating a piece of your workflow. You no longer have to go into control, mm -hmm. but instead just respond or check your email every so often and see, okay, there's action that I have to actually perform at this point. That's very cool. There have been updates to Jira Control. What stands out to you from you know, those recent changes? I think if I talk about my personal favorites to begin with, um, it's the small quality of life tweaks to the user interface that we are typically receiving from customers. Um, so th these are the small changes that we make that you know, they, they may not make the, the headlines or anything like that, but sometimes we just make improvements that improve your day-to-day. -day. And, and one of those that we're actually working on right now is we're working on adding in things like tool tips that will pop up and give you more details uh, on some of our most popular and most used features. Uh, more recently, we've been working a lot on security concerns. So as we know from everybody's perspective, security is paramount. You know, that's not just from our customers, but always for us as, as a company at Tejero, security is one of our primary focuses. So we've been working lately at improving security. So we've been doing things like adding support for new authentication methods, such as single sign-on, as well as two-factor authentication. Uh, but then more broadly too, you know, kind of getting out of the other things we've been doing within, within control, I think, um, I think all of us at Degero have been very excited as of late by the addition of gateway mode to Engos. Uh, and I think this has not just been exciting from a device perspective, but it's been very exciting from what we've seen happen inside of control. Well, this is very cool. So talk to me about that integration because it, it, it adds even more power to the user. So with gateway mode, you turn it on on your Engo, and what you're essentially doing is bridging your network connections to provide basically a, a supercharged hotspot that you can then use as a high bandwidth resilient uh, internet access point. So as a, as a workflow, that's a very new and dynamic workflow for Engo users. But from the control perspective, this is where I get very excited, is what we've done is we basically unlocked a number of features that were typically available or associated with gateways, which are now available for Engos. Mm. So we're seeing people going into control and, and doing things that may be familiar for us. We've been supporting network aggregation devices for a long time, but now we're seeing these new workflows being unlocked for other users that are typically just using them for video transport uh, use cases. So it's, it's very exciting because it's bridging those two worlds. We're seeing features such as being able to just go into a map and see when your device is switched over from being in a, a gateway mode or transmitting data to switching over to doing a live stream. Mm -hmm. So basically, by having it fully integrated into control, it's, it's, it becomes a very, very compelling feature to see. There is so much that you can do with Dejiro Control. Is it easy to master? Absolutely, yeah. I think the control interface is something we spend a lot of time considering ease of use. So basically, from day one, from your first steps, it is easy to use. And it's easy to use as you're going through your learning journey as well. So it's going to be easy to use from day one all the way through until you're an advanced user of control. Now, you know that's, that's the user interface. We want to make sure it's intuitive. But at the same time, if it's not, if you have any problems or any questions, we also have a full 
a support hub where you can go in, you can watch videos, you can read through a number of resources that do walk you through how to use control and how to get more out of control. But I think more honestly, like if, you know, these, these are great resources. If you ever have a question, I think it all starts and ends with our support team. Mm -hmm. Our support team is fantastic. You can just reach out and they'll be able to help walk you through any issues you may be having, or even just give you some tips on how to better use control. DeGiro Control has powerful analytics. Let's talk a bit more about this. So within Control, you have a whole suite of built-in analytics that allow you to dig a little bit deeper into your products. So it, we can start with our streams. So whenever you go live, there's a lot, of, a lot of data that's associated with any stream going live. So if you were to open up our stream health page or our stream analytics pages, what you're going to see is charts and graphs. They're going to show you your receive bit rate, your latency that you're, you're getting back. Uh, but then you can also trace this back and see things like, how was my strength at that position for my cellular connection? Mm -hmm. So am I having any reception issues there? I can also go back and just trace how much data am I using when I'm in the field? So there's a whole bunch of different analytics we can get out of the stream report. But that also, you know, there's the stream reports, but then we also have the full report system. So you can go back, we can notify on various data usage uh, tiers and so on, but then you can generate reports, you can export them to CSV files or to PDFs, whatever your standardized version of a report would be, and basically run all those analytics and really get uh, the, the answers that you're looking for. That's great. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Daniel. Thank you. To learn more about DeGiro Control and our other suite of products, head to DeGiro.com.